I want to thank uh, Kian for inviting me to this um, great session. And um, I'm going to speak today about the Enki software project. Enki stands for Enabling Knowledge Integration. But it's also a convenient name because Enki is the Sumerian god of knowledge and wine and creation. The Enki project is a project that I've been working on with Aaron Wolf at the University of Michigan and Mark Spiegelman at Columbia, along with Owen Evans and Lucy Tweed at Columbia and Kian uh, at um, uh, Carnegie. Uh, Enki is a project designed to build and calibrate and uh, develop thermodynamic models and link them to geodynamical models. So it's particularly relevant, I think, to the previous talk and, and to uh, the whole session here in the sense of uh, developing uh, materials properties uh, simulators for geodynamic calculations, which should interest a large group of you here. Before I move on to the next slide, I just wanted to emphasize there are some important URLs. Uh, there's the Enki website, there's the Enki code base at GitLab. There are two servers that are available that actually give you direct implementation of the Enki software. One is in the cloud and one is a development server. And there, of course, is the obligatory Twitter account. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, the Enki software system, as I said, aims to provide a, a centralized platform for access to models and data. And it does this with a Python umbrella that allows you to access the Enki code via either interactive Jupyter notebooks or by direct scripting, depending upon the application you have in mind. Enki provides a consistent and standardized set of APIs for coded models. And I'll talk about the models that, that are available at Enki on the next slide, the next couple of slides. But, but I want to emphasize that these are what are traditionally referred to as thermodynamic databases or thermodynamic modeling software that traditionally has been almost impossible to integrate because of the fact that each one has a different API or a different programming system, or, or so simply um, uh, the inability to calculate the same sorts of properties in each model. So it becomes really important, and the goal of Enki is to develop a consistent set of ways in which these models can be accessed and integrated. Um, also, Enki has a mechanism for building model connections and modeling software, which is very, very important in terms of linking models together for some sort of overall simulation. Enki also strives to have a mechanism for documenting model development and model usage. And this is aimed at encouraging both replicable and reproducible science. Um, at least in the world of thermodynamic modeling, it is, it is a notorious fact that virtually no thermodynamic model is replicable or reproducible even by the person that generated it more than two or three years beyond the model conception. And that's just, it's just the nature of the complexity of the issue. So Enki strives to, to have a documentation and replication environment uh, to develop these models. And again, that is done either by Jupyter Notebooks or by scripting. Python scripting. And finally, uh, Enki tries to have a mechanism for publication and sharing of models, which is really quite important, uh, particularly for if you're interested in extending a thermodynamic model. Uh, many of us uh, see thermodynamic models in the literature that we would like to apply to some sort of uh, more general modeling process, and we have to implement them and figure out how to implement them properly, and then uh, build upon them, perhaps change them. And the Enki process, or the Enki uh, framework is aimed at trying to help that process. Um, what modeling deficiencies has Enki addressed? Well, as I said, the interoperability of existing modeling software. Um, it uh, addresses directly the notion that there is currently no available infrastructure to systematically update models. Um, and this is, a, this is an unfortunate situation. I, I'll take an example, a model that I have created, which is the MELTS software model, 
which was uh, first calibrated in 1995 and later calibrated uh, in the uh, 2012. The active calibration of that model uh, using um, uh, current uh, well, pre-Enki software resources was an extremely difficult task. And now with the Enki resources, it turns out that this is a much easier thing to do and can be done by more than just the cognoscenti that have that developed that model. There's a lack of frameworks for, accept, uh, for accessing and distributing models, as I talked about, and a lack of frameworks for reproducible uh, workflows. Enki is, is uh, designed for various communities and for the geodynamics community who are used to building their own software and doing their own calculations, the next two comments here are not that relevant. But to the geochemical community uh, that, that uses Enki, uh, the, next two, the next two issues are relevant. And that is that community is really very much wedded towards the use of apps and the use of Excel to do uh, computational research. And uh, we want to get away from that because that limits the kind of computations that can be done. So Enki directly, with, via the uh, production of Jupyter notebooks that are built on the Enki infrastructure, directly addresses uh, those sorts of issues and teaches um, the community, that community at least, that programming a little bit in Python is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. You don't have to just use Excel. You can actually do your own kind of, of modeling. Um, again, the scientific workflows are that the standardization of the software libraries, uh, the, gener the easy generation of tutorials and example interfaces, and, and of course, scripting, if you're, if you're so inclined. And um, the whole notion of producing an infrastructure to incur synthesis science. Um, and again, this, this may not be such a relevant issue in the geodynamical community, but it certainly is a relevant issue in the geochemical and petrological community, where uh, synthesis science is something that a few people do that have access to data and tools, Whereas with the Enki infrastructure, it's possible now to uh, democratize that process a bit and allow people that are not quite so computationally oriented to, to attempt that kind of synthesis. Oops. What am I doing here? Ah. Um, the, um, yes, the uh, Enki package in detail is a Python package which is available at gitlab.com. It's an open source package, but it's a Python package that wraps a lot of software that is written in high level languages for speed of implementation. Um, there are several Python modules that are involved in the Enki package, and I've listed them here, uh, just in alphabetical order. But perhaps the, the most important of these modules are those that are colored in uh, orange, the phases module and the equilibrate module, which, which allow uh, you to uh, do calculations of a thermodynamic equilibrium under a variety of conditions, both open and closed system thermodynamic equilibrium. For example, the equilibrate package includes access to uh, melts, it includes access to the deep earth water model, the dew package, and other uh, thermodynamic packages. And the phases package allows the calculation of the thermodynamic properties of any phase or any model which is a part of the Enki package or can be generated by the Enki package. And this is really important. I, I, as many of you probably know when you when you go to a work uh, or when you go to the literature and you find a thermodynamic model, let's say a, a model for the properties of olivine, um, oftentimes the model will be published and equations will be, will be presented for calculating just a few thermodynamic properties. And that's insufficient for the actual implementation of that model in a comprehensive chemical equilibrium calculator fashion. And so uh, the Yankee package guarantees that every thermodynamic property you can possibly imagine is always available for every phase which is present in the, in the package and every phase that you, whose properties you can generate using the package. So these two modules are particularly important. There are other modules for doing um, uh, aspects of modeling and model integration that I, I won't necessarily talk about. There's a model for uh, calibrating 
uh, or a module for calibrating thermodynamic models, which is very, very important. It uses modern Bayesian statistical methods to do the calibration. And we, we've spent a lot of time developing the software in this uh, module just to uh, facilitate the, the sort of proper calibration of thermodynamic models, which are an in, in, in intrinsically difficult thing to do because of the intrinsic correlation in the underlying databases. Uh, the, other, the other thing that I should mention about the Yankee package is that there, there is access to underlying thermodynamic data for uh, uh, underlying experimental data that's used for calibration of models. Probably the most um, interesting aspect of the Enki package is the coder module. And this is a module that uh, we've developed extensively, um, uh, largely through uh, my efforts and that of Mark Spiegelman and Owen Evans to, uh, to facilitate the creation of thermodynamic models on the fly and then generate code from them and use those derived models in calculations either on the Anki platform or which can be uh, code which can be exported to uh, some other uh, framework like a geodynamical modeling framework like Terraforma or Aspect or so on and so forth. Uh, the code can be generated in C and C++. Um, and I'll give you an example of that a li little later on. Uh, the current models that are available in the in the Yankee package include the Berman and Holland and Powell and Stixrud Lithgow Bertoloni uh, thermodynamic models, the Deep Earth Water model, and Helgus and Kirkham and Flowers aqueous solution models, SWIM, which is an integrated standard integrated water model for calculating the properties of water and the dielectric constant of water over a wide temperature pressure range, everywhere from uh, sort of the, the, the icy uh, oceans of Europa all the way up to high temperature magmatic conditions and at pressures up to about uh, 10 GPA. Uh, and of course, uh, because I'm involved with this, the melts models are included as standard in the uh, Enki package. Um, one of the things we're doing a having a little trouble here. There we go. Um, one of the things that the Yankee package is really aimed to deal with is the, uh, is the workflow associated with the generation of uh, thermodynamic models and, and just sort of models in general. Thermodynamic models are notoriously difficult to generate because they involve, first of all, developing theory, then doing an enormous amount of calculus to sort of derive all the equations for all the thermodynamic properties, uh, coding those up, which is by which by hand is fraught with uh, the possibility of error, doing calibration based on that code. And, and usually this involves starting over from the beginning. And then once the model is calibrated, doing more coding to actually develop an application that you're interested in. This a workflow that corresponds to the orange arrows usually corresponds to a process uh, that, that is um, six months to a year to a year and a half for any model of any sort of complexity. Um, now what we can do with the Enki package is we can uh, generate that, we still have to generate the theory, right? We still have to write down the theory, but we can now write down an expression for the high level description of the thermodynamics in the system. For example, the Gibbs energy of a phase or the Gibbs energy of a solution. And now the Enki framework can automatically generate all of the code necessary in order to calibrate that model and then to uh, implement the um, actual applications of that model. So this process here, I mean, you, one still has to do all the work to, to think about how to create the thermodynamic model. But once you've, once you've done that, which may be a, you know, a week or two week exercise, um, one can simply press a button now and the code goes immediately to application or the code goes immediately to calibration. And what I wanted to do um, is give you a, just a, a taste of how that can be done. I seem to have my 
There we go. There we go. Um, and uh, just to give you an idea of how with Enki we can generate something as, uh, as simple as the olivine phase diagram, uh, just using code. Now, I realize you probably can't see this code, but I'd be happy to, to, to send anyone that's interested an actual copy of this notebook so you can study it in detail. But I just want to give you a flavor of it. Now, this is a Jupyter notebook where I've generated this code, but um, one can do this by scripting. And in fact, Mark Spiegelman would say you, you, we, we should do it by scripting, right? We, we, should, we should have a, a more automated process for doing that, which is, which is great. Um, but for illustrative, uh, uh, illustrative for illustration and for, for teaching and for tutorials and so on. Uh, Jupyter notebooks are, are great for describing this sort of thing. So um, you, you've all seen Jupyter notebooks. These are markdown blocks that are descriptive blocks. These things in gray are actually code blocks. Uh, the code block to, in, to uh, input the um, uh, Enki uh, uh, framework is, is very, very simple. And in this next section, which I've labeled two here, all I'm doing in there is, is actually writing down the statements that describe the thermodynamic properties of the end member components in this olivine solution. So the olivine has to have a magnesium and iron end member for the solid and a magnesium and iron end member for the liquid. And that's forsterite solid, phthalite solid, forsterite liquid, phthalite liquid. Um, the code block that describes the formulation of the Gibbs energy of the system, in this case, is very, very simple. It's contained just in here. And uh, these statements um, of in Python are doing everything that's necessary to actually create the thermodynamic model for forsterite solid, phthalite solid, forsterite liquid, and phthalite liquid. Once these end member models are created, you can come over here and you can create a model for the solution properties of the solid and the liquid. In this case, they're simple ideal solutions, but as you can see, they consist just of end member properties and configurational entropy properties that the, the entropic X log X sort of terms. And then uh, once those, those uh, equations are defined symbolically using the SymPy package in Python, uh, then the model can be created with a single Python call to the coder package. And once that model is created, it can be instantiated as the solid and the liquid, and then with the import statements, all that, all those, all that modeling code that was created, which is in Cython and C, and it can be created in C++, all that code is then imported, wrapped in Python, and made available to the Jupyter Notebook, or it could be made available to whatever modeling environment you would like to use it in. And let's see, I have to click. Um, then in the Jupyter Notebook, we can actually use that code directly uh, without, without interruption. We can simply import it into the Anki framework. And um, then we can use it in any fashion we wish. And I've just written a little bit of Python here that actually then uses that, uh, though that generated code and uh, calculates from it uh, equilibrium between the two phases using the Enki equilibrate package that I described previously. And the equilibrate package allows you to, to uh, um, specify an assembly of phases and to take that assembly of phases and then calculate thermodynamic equilibrium under whatever conditions you're interested in. It could be at fixed temperature and pressure. It could be at fixed entropy and pressure, if you want to do adiabatic calculations. It could be at fixed volume and temperature, if you're interested in doing um, isochoric calculations and so on and so forth. And this is the final result of the uh, phase diagram. So I just want to end um, with a uh, with uh, the a summary of how one accesses Enki. You can either go directly to the open source library on GitLab that.com and clone it and uh, work with it 
directly. You can build it on your system. Or um, at GitLab, there are Docker images available uh, that are built on Ubuntu, of course, so that you can download um, that to your machine, or you can use uh, the Docker image in the cloud. And the uh, server that we have, uh, the uh, production server that we have available, server.enkiportal.org, is actually a uh, Google Cloud production server that implements the, uh, the framework um, and allows you access to all of the abilities and notebooks and tutorials and so on and so forth. So thank you very much. That's an overview of Enki.